Sorry. Do the tape delay. All right, six o'clock. I would like to call the February 7th special meeting of the Canandaigua Town Board to order. Uh, we will begin by saying the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Councilwoman Karen Demay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right. Jean, could you call the roll, please? Certainly. Councilman Gary Davis. Present. Councilwoman Karen Demay. Present. Councilman Terry Fennelly. Present. Councilwoman Adeline Rudolph. Present. Supervisor Jared Simpson. Present. Uh, Gene, was the meeting properly advertised? Yes, it was. All right. So I don't know that we have any written communications out for tonight, so we will skip off that part. That uh, brings us to the first privilege of the floor. Anyone who would like to speak? All right. Uh, we do not have any priority business at this time. Uh, we do not have any presentations uh, either. So it does say on the agenda, continued public hearing, but the public hearing was closed. Uh, so we will not be having that since it was already closed. Uh, we do not have any, I don't see any need for reports or officials or any committees. And uh, we only have one resolution on the agenda for tonight. Uh, and that is resolution number 2022-57, approving a revised cost estimate for increases and in improvements of facilities to the Canandaigua Farmington Consolidated Water District. Jared, I would like to move that we uh, table this uh, resolution indefinitely. Okay, we have a movement to table. We have a second. I, se I second it, uh, Jared. Okay, we have a second. So we have a movement to table in a second. I think it does merit discussion. Uh, we do have parties here as part of the as part of this. Um, so I would like to open the floor to discussion uh, with any comments or thoughts about the project. Uh, and concerns that there might be. Okay, so nothing at this time. Um, I know that um, we usually don't do this, but Mr. Janeko, I know that you guys came here for this. Do you have any thoughts or anything that you would share, like to share at this time? Um, it, it was my understanding that this project is moving forward with three phases. The Auburn Trail, the Connector Road, Kirkgrad Road, the Townline Road, and the Water District Improvement. And all three of those items are to happen in use. One is not to be forfeited for the other. Back 10 years ago, when this was thought of by Pam Helmy, there was interest in cleaning the area up. Mobile Road was a disaster. It had three dilapidated homes on it. I agreed to purchase two of those lots. And I'm actually in discussion with the third now to put two new homes on those lots. And then we've accomplished that. We've accomplished the extension of Mobile Road to, to um, tie into the new proposed road, which I would assume that most of you are knowledgeable about. And uh, I expect uh, things to move forward the way they were originally thought. Okay. Thank you for thank you for sharing those comments. I think that is one. And if I can. I would supervisor and those people, do you have any questions or comments this time we were, for us? Yeah. Not, excuse me, one more thing. Yep. You know, there was there was a need on Purdy Road to obtain some property in order to bring this water line in and the road. Okay. We went ahead and we purchased two lots, thinking that it could go on either end of the proposed area. I would have never purchased those lots or purchased those places if this road wasn't going to take effect. So, 
So I think one thing, you know, going forward and coming out of this, one goal that I have is taking this issue and coming to a, you know, coming to a resolution with this. So, you know, in coming to a decision of, of the board, whether it be workshops through other meetings that we might have to make sure that we go forward in the right way, because we have the water to look at, we have all of those issues in play. Um, and I think part of the reason for moving the tabling the resolution was some of the concern over a lot of the moving parts and the pieces until we get it nailed down uh, and get it figured out. So I think that is one of the goals that this board has is bringing this to some sort of a, some sort of a resolution and moving forward on this. So it's kind of, you know in in the future uh, we don't have this you know that we're not having this discussion eight years from now. Um, as it was happening years in the past as well. So we have a. Well, Jared, I, I guess since I was the one that made this motion, I should say something. That is, I agree with what you just said. And I have sat in on different meetings and what's been discussed in the past. And my reason for asking that this be tabled to an indefinite date is to give us time to resolve this issue competitive manner for everyone concerned and also to <clears throat> try to resolve some of the questions that <clears throat> been swirling around for the past couple of weeks i uh i know my head is spinning at this moment from all the conversations i've had over the past four or five days regarding this issue and uh you know i certainly am not attacking the anybody personally nor am i uh, impugning the uh, character of the technical content of the uh, proposal that's been made. So I think that we can resolve these issues positively for everybody concerned, and we should do so expeditiously. Definitely. And I would Jared? also like, yeah, go ahead, Mr. Davis. Uh, by, by seconding, uh, I'd voice, so I'd echo those uh, same uh, re uh, comments that Terry made. This is a com this is a situation I've been concerned about for uh, a period of time now is uh, getting things, uh, you know, correctly uh, worked up uh, in uh, whatever kind of memorandums you want to understand for both the town of Farmington as well as the town of Canada and the Dago residents. And so uh, I uh, believe uh, we're doing the right thing. That's why I second the, uh, the motion. And I would also like to thank Supervisor Inglesby for the time that you put into this project. I know this isn't the, you know, the, the outcome that you were that we we're you were working for at this time, but I think we, you know, coming back at it, we can create something that'll work all the way around. Also, take into account there are also many unknowns still for that area of town. Um, <coughs> but I don't want to discount the time and effort that you put into this, uh, that your staff put into this. Uh, uh, that you have behind it and it's my hope too along with what terry was saying that moving expeditiously on this will be able to resolve the multiple concerns that are hanging out there and still be able to put the work the legwork and the groundwork that was done for the project to put that into to bring it all to fruition so that work done in the past wasn't lost the discussions and the plans from the past you know the the, the, the proposals and everything else that they're not lost, that we can build on those and bring everything to a, to a resolution that works for all parties and is the best going forward for Canandaigua, for Farmington, for that area, which both municipalities really share um, with that. So any other comments? Well, I would just say this is a really tough situation with no no great answers. I'm, I'm concerned about um, the loss of money with either decision being made here, particularly the uh, potential loss of the grant that we, I, it's my understanding we could lose um, if we are not completed with this project um, by the time the, the grant uh, ceases to exist. Um, I'm also really concerned as well about the comments everyone had said regarding the easement through Mr. Janeko's land um, that appears to have some sort of um, dispute. I, I also would see benefits to a greater conversation about what could be done um, on that property and the potential positives for both the town of Canandaigua and Farmington um, for potential road building there. I think that needs to just be 
more clear at this point uh, before we can really move forward. And I understand the inordinate amount of work that Mr. Inglesby and Mr. Davis have been doing on this project um, and trying to answer our questions. I'm, I'm sorry that you didn't have the numbers from the town of Pandagua for the growth factors until that January meeting, um, that January 31st meeting, because I think that changed a lot of our, our opinions and we found a lot more questions from that point onward too. But all that being said, while I would really like to get this project moving forward, I do agree with my fellow board members that we just have too many loose ends um, at this point and that um, it sounds like we need to table this until we can come to a greater consensus on how to move forward. So, All right, any other comments? Okay, so we have a motion to table to an indefinite date, and we have a second. Uh, all in favor, signify, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so the resolution is tabled indefinitely uh, to a date to be determined. Oh, thank you. I've got that up there. I don't even need my paper copy. Mm -hmm. It's even a good, it's good size to read. <laughs> No, but I still, it's too far away. I got to pull, I got to pull up on this one. All right. <laughs> so we don't have any minutes to approve, no bills. Uh, that takes us right to uh, the last privilege of the floor. Would anybody else like to be heard at the point? Okay, we do not have any executive session plan. So that brings us to uh, the final of the meeting. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Second. Okay. Right. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Obviously not. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, meetings adjourned. All right.